Now, I'm not convinced of some of your numbers in this one, love. I'm not convinced at all. Hi, it's me again. And yeah, I want to start covering more things about saving money or money-related subjects, stuff like that. And when I'm doing the research for that, I'm reading a lot of stuff, a lot of Martin Lewis stuff and money papers and stuff. I just want to learn a bit more, really. But I stumble across some stupid stories like this one, and I thought it might be a bit of a laugh to talk about today. Have a look at the headline, look. You're drying your clothes all wrong and wasting money. Here's the cheapest way to do it. Now, I'm no expert in laundry, no expert at all. I've only been doing my own laundry for 22 odd years, something like that. But in my limited experience in this field, I know the cheapest way to do it is one, hang it up outside if you can, if it's not peeing down, which it probably will be this time of year. Or two, same around mum's house, <laughs> let her dry for you. No, Jack, I would do I have done that. No, I wouldn't do it. I've got a tumble dryer now. But let's have a look at what they say here, because some of the numbers I'm not fully, fully convinced about. But there are some ideas, because I had one of those um, those JML things, right? It's a stand, about that, the AI, and um, it's got arms that come out all around it, and you hang clothes on hangers, and then it's got a tent that goes over it, and then a, a blower heater in the bottom, and you flip it on, and it circulates air around it. And it did dry the clothes well, and it did dry them quickly, but that hot, moist air is now in your house. That's not ideal, is it? I did get mold from that. I would never, ever use one of those, never use one of those again. But at the minute, I don't have anywhere to hang my clothes up outside. I've got no choice at all but to dry them in the house. So, well, I've got a washer dryer, so that's it. But I have to, it's not cheap, is it? Although it was cheaper than I thought. Talk about it in a minute. Central heating is the costliest to run. So the cost per hour is £2.47 and the time to dry your full load is 10 hours. So the cost per drying your washing is £24.72. But it's not £24.72, is it? How is it? The only way it would be £24.72 is if the only reason you put the central heating on was to dry your clothes. But if you're home and the central heating is on because you are home, and the benefit of having that on is also that you get your clothes dry, then your clothes were dried for free weren't they? Not £24.72. It makes no sense. Who did this? Bloody sun. Journalism in the sun. It's great, isn't it? Tumble dryer. A condenser tumble dryer costs £1.70 an hour to run, two hours to dry a full load and costs £3.40. So I disagree with that. I don't know what tariff I'm on, but I got a washer dryer just because there was nowhere else I could dry my clothes. And in this little cottage, I it's rented and I didn't want to get it mouldy. I'll lose my blooming deposit. Well, no. So I had to cough up for a washer dryer, and I only bought a second hand one off Gumtree, but yeah. And I run it, I run it twice the other day. I had two loads to do me whitewash and me colour wash. And I didn't notice my, because I've got a smart meter. I don't want one, I know you'll talk to me about it. It's in the rental agreement, I don't have a choice about it. I kept an eye on a smart meter, and it didn't cost anywhere near 340 a load to wash and dry. It takes three hours, my wash dryer, to do two loads. It did not cost anywhere near that. It, I don't think it went up by four or five quid I'm in and out all day. And I had the heating on, I was using the gas to cook and that. But I didn't notice anywhere near that. And that's just a tumble dryer. So again, I'm not sure about your numbers. A heated dryer, cost per hour, 10p. Drying a full load is 13 hours if you put the cover on it. Cost per load is £2.4p. I can probably believe that, because say I had one in the past and it is just a heater blower. You know those crappy cheap heaters that you get, the little ones that just blow hot air out that cost you a fortune. Well, I always thought they cost a fortune to run. It's just one of them in the bottom and it blows up. And they, they are quite efficient. You put the cover on them. I used to use it. I used to like having it. It was good. But if you know I've got the windows open, that hot, moist air has got to go somewhere, right? It's got to go somewhere. So I don't think it's an ideal solution. If you go, in, like, you go out to work in the day or you're going to school, take the kids out, whatever you're doing in the day, and you put it on and you leave your window open, yeah, all right, fair dues, fair dues. But you're still going to have a cold house when you come home at night, aren't you? Because you've got to go upstairs, shut the window before you can put the heating on. It's not ideal. Mind you, doing washing isn't ideal. I hate doing washing. Fan heater. Cost per hour, 74.8p. Time to dry a full load, six and a half hours. Who's just put in their washing on one of them stand things and pointing a blower dryer at it. That doesn't sound very efficient way of doing it. Do people do that? Have you ever done that? Oh, drying pod, there we go. Cost per hour, 34p. Time to dry full load, 10 hours. Total cost, 340. That's the thing, that's very, very similar to the thing I had, although mine was a JML one. 
I think. And I liked it. And I don't recall it taking 10 hours to dry a full load. I think it was a lot less than that. It was a lot less than that. But what does it say it costs to run here? So it costs below £3.40. Bloody cost of electric. That's bad, isn't it? £3.40. A dehumidifier. Cost per hour, 8.5p. Time to dry full load, 12 hours. How is the dehumidifier drying a full load of washing? Can someone please explain that? It's sucking in air, removing the moisture from the air, dumping it in a tray, and then blowing the air back out. And nowhere in that process is it generating heat that will dry your washing, or a strong blow of air that will dry your washing. Am I missing something? Do people, if, you, if you're running one of those blower things or you're drying clothes in your house, yeah, all right, fair enough. A dehumidifier is probably a cracking idea because say if you're getting mold on the walls. But it's not the thing that's drying the washing, is it? Ah, oh, what a shame. But funnily enough, they're not allowing comments on this article, mostly because it's complete tosh. If you're really struggling with cost of electric bills, there's one good way to dry your washing, that's outside. You've just got to time it on a day where it's not soaking wet outside. Even a cold wind will dry washing. My mum hangs her washing out. She's always got washing hanging out on there. One of them, you know, the square things that spin them a thing in the wind. She loves it. She loves it. She dries it quite quick, even in the winter. She refuses to use her tumble dryer, which we bought her. Refuses to use it from the cost. Probably good for her, I guess, on that. I don't have a choice about it. I can't risk this place getting mouldy. It's a tiny little cottage. I ain't losing my security deposit again. I lost one in the past from the mould. That really annoyed me. Really annoyed me. So I have to suck it up and use the tumble dryer. But I don't think it's costing me as much as they say here. But next time I put a load in, what day is it today? So it's Tuesday night. So the next load I put on will probably be... Well, I work from home on Thursday. So I'll probably stick it on Thursday while I'm working from home. And I won't put the heating on or do anything, and I will keep an eye on that smart meter, and I'll find out exact cost of the full three hours of washing and drying a load of clothes in my crappy old Indesit second-hand washer-dryer. So what do you think about this, then? I reckon her numbers are well off. But how do you dry your clothes? Do you still do it outside, or do you risk, do you risk drying them indoors and open some windows or something like that? I'd be interested. That was interesting chat something different isn't it let me know in the comments below as always thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because that way hopefully i'll see you in another video again soon when i ta -da.